remember this. Followed by an extreme rescue video, followed by an update seven weeks later because of a new leaf growing as well as roots and signs of one spike on the way. The spike growth triggered a little prediction game as to what color would suppress a bloom and everyone that joined in were documented in this list and I wrote down all the predictions that came through in the order as they came through. However, Anna Reiter saw something on the original pot suppressor is still in and that was the name Pulsation. So, Here she is. <laughs> well, not quite. This is the image of her first bloom, but here is Suppressa in bloom. Cartwheels around the patio <laughs> and the winner is Anna Reiter, who saw the name on the original pot and it is an actual fact Phalaenopsis pulsation confirmed if you were to Google the name. The images on Google have a lot more intense spotting than my pulsation has, but that is because my pulsation has to deal with lower light levels. She's not exposed to as much light as she could handle. Being in the sun today is an exception because, I mean, come on, rescue orchid bloom reveal. I'm so glad the sun is shining on this day because, and we'll get to this specific day just a little bit later on in the video. Anyway, I think she is pretty. Yes, I am biased. You could have thrown me something of a Phalaenopsis that I've already had and I would love her anyway. I think she's pretty. Let me know in the comments what you think. You see, I am biased because I never got to find a dumpster fowl, let alone bring her back from the brink of being roasted to resembling oregano. So my tag now reads Phalaenopsis pulsation suppressor. Just for the sake of respecting the name of this fowl, but also as a reminder for me that this was a first in my orchid growing years in Spain to find a Phalaenopsis by a dumpster. <laughs> now I do not have a fragrance. I doubt she has a fragrance and if she does, well, maybe the next go around will prove to be another suppressor from this orchid. So let me just add something here in my don't repot video. Sharon Carpenter from Joyous Orchids asked if suppressor should be allowed to bloom, to which I replied, only if the roots keep extending and if they don't, then I will be cutting spikes because I don't want to drag the bloom reveal out another year. And true to form, the roots have stopped growing while the orchid was focusing on the spikes, including branching from a node of the older spike, which is also in bloom. So what we're going to do in this video is cut the spikes and let the orchid rest because she will be stressed out again this year as I plan to transition her to Lekka and self-watering, which matches the setup of all my other Phalaenopsis complex hybrids. It would be fabulous if you were to subscribe to the channel if you want to be there for the next step of Pulsation Suppressa and take a moment to like the video as well because success! That would really help me out and thank you so much for doing so. Now, normally I would not cut a spike prematurely. I like to learn and see how long a spike on an orchid will maintain itself before the Phalaenopsis absorbs the remaining spike structure after the blooming has completed. But that observation can wait. The reason I'm cutting the spikes down to the base is because I do not want Suppressor to even think about branching another spike from a node. Now, Madam has to focus on the roots and then we can get to transitioning her. So, first things first and observations can wait. <laughs> I also want to add one more thing, and that is what I'm getting to about the specifics of the date that I'm filming this video. I found Suppress on August 19th in 2022, and I am filming this video on March 19th in 2023. That is a total of seven months later to get to this stage. Not fast, not a trick, no fake snail oil of rescue and getting roots to grow. I did not use turmeric, beetroot, onion, banana, carrot, potato, bread, or any other miracle ingredient to get my phalaenopsis to root fast and any of that clickbait garbage. While I'm happy that this orchid made a comeback, 
there was nothing miraculous added and the improvement and recovery within seven months is quite fast considering what we deal with when it comes to orchids rescuing them and getting them to grow again congratulations to anna reiter for your eagle eyes proving you are right phalaenopsis pulsation it is but here at ninja orchids she is phalaenopsis pulsation sorpresa Thank you everyone so much for joining in with the little fun that we've had, for watching the videos as and when they aired, and if you have not seen the previous videos, I will link them in the description. And finally, thank you for watching this video. Wishing you a wonderful day on that one condition though, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.